Hi, welcome. I'm here to read you a story. Something maybe you could all listen to this Sunday when it's Mother's Day and we get to honor all the aunts and mothers and grandmothers and special women who have been so nice to us in our lives and helped to teach us a lot. I'm going to read a book that is called The Kissing Hand. And it is written by Audrey Penn. The, the pictures are done by Ruth Harper and Nancy Leake. They made these pictures. Those are nice pictures, aren't they? This book is about Chester. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on the swing. Please say I can stay home with you. He's feeling very sad. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You will make new friends. You will play with new toys. You will read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tear and looked very interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret. Mrs. Raccoon said. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from her mother. It is called the kissing hand. The kissing hand asked Chester, what is that? I'll show you, Mrs. Raccoon told Chester. First, he took Chester's left hand and spread his tiny fingers open in a fan. Then she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you, Mommy loves you, and that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. There, he could feel it in his hand, and he could even play with the love, with the kiss in the hand. That night, Chester stood in front of school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and he grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. See all the animals that are up at night? Here's the possums. 
they're called nocturnal and they stay up all night. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a great gentle goodbye, and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. He's going to school with his bunny friends and skunk, a fox, looks like a deer, a frog, and there's Chester. They go to school at night because they're nocturnal and they sleep all day. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot Owl rang the new school year in. She pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with a special words. Chester loves me, he sang. Chester loves me. And there's all the animals at school. And there's the teacher, the wise owl. And they're all at school learning and talking. And one day we'll be back at school too. And we'll all get to see each other again and the teachers. And it will be fun. You take care and have a very fun day on Sunday. And give all those special women in your lives a big hug. Bye now.